Okay, so you mentioned the uh, two weeks in urinary and, and, you know, irritation and all that. When it comes to um, sexual dysfunction, how, how long does that last? And when they do regain sexual function after a week or two or whatever time frame you say, um, is it with Viagra, without Viagra, or is it just as they would go before? Yeah, it varies, and it depends on the patient. If a patient comes in with no uh, erectile dysfunction, age 55, uh, chances are he'll be able to have an erection the next day. We tend to tell them not to have sexual activity for a week or two, just to let things settle down, the acute urinary irritation, and they're probably not that excited about you know messing around down there uh, anyway at that point. Um, those guys generally, over the long term, um, do quite well in terms of uh, preservation of sexual function with or without uh, uh, medications. We do, however, offer all of the patients daily Cialis um, as a way to improve blood flow and to improve urinary flow after. Uh, we also sometimes will give uh, Flomax or a alpha blocker for improving urination in the immediate period in and around the time we do the implant. Now, when you get a patient who comes in with ED, erectile dysfunction to begin with, then we generally don't make those patients better, but we try and at least preserve whatever function they have, and then we're more prone to put them on additional medications, uh, Viagra or Levitra to supplement Cialis and so forth, or refer that patient if they haven't already seen an erectile dysfunction specialist. But someone who comes in, you know, 75 years old with obesity and diabetes and heart disease and so forth and erectile dysfunction, that typically isn't on the top of their, their list of concerns. But for the younger men and, and even those you know, older guys who are still sexually active, we have you know, a program and try and preserve sexual function uh, to the extent possible. But there's always a risk that no matter how perfectly we do our job, they may lose sexual function. So they're, they're always warned about the, you know, the options, but you know, the vast majority of my patients who we've treated who are functional before are functional afterwards. Um, and you know, there's that short period in between, which is a bit of a hiatus, which doesn't really mean too much. You know, right. Just a, an acute, you know, if you broke your arm, you probably would want to let it rest for a little while. So, right. you know. No, that makes sense. In the data, obviously, you've shown that in those two studies you mentioned, which is yes. really cool. So if you would like more information about anything we talked about, you can go ahead and contact our helpline team and they will be available to talk to you. The uh, number is at our website, pcri.org, and you can look up other information on prostate cancer treatments. And if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Uh, the reason those thumbs up matter is because that lets Google know that this video is helpful to you and it can help other patients and we get on a suggested video list. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like more information in general about prostate cancer. We cover every topic we could possibly think of and we hope you have a great week.